Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi, my name is Mark Hoffman and today I'm going to be taking you around our 2010 Ranger XLT. As you've seen from inquiring on the car, brilliant kilometres and amazing value. This video is going to be mostly about condition and quality, so let's go for a quick walk around the car. Starting off with a bumper bar, metallic silver, quite a nice colour, a lot better than standard white. No signs of stone chips or anything like that. Being an XLT, you do get fog lamps, nice big clear headlights with the black surrounds, quite a cool look. Big chrome grille on the bonnet, no stone chips to note. However, there's, I want to point them out now, but I'm about to take the car to our detailer. There's a scratch there and a scratch there. They're really, really light hairline scratches. I'm going to have our detailer have a crack at them, but I want to point them out anyway. Um, coming down the driver's side of the car now, presents really well. We've got no sort of any marks on the guards here, nice indicators in the guard. Factory alloy wheel, uh, we put, uh, oh hang on, it's got really, really close to new uh, front all-terrain tyres on this car. Coming down the side of the vehicle, nothing really, no, we've got a couple of little tiny hairline scratches. I want a camera to actually zoom in to see how picky I'm being. They're pretty light, in this light, really hard to see though. Side running boards, no damage there at all, which is good to see. Windows are tinted. I wouldn't go with massively tinted, but there's some very light, there's some light tinting at the front and a bit darker at the back. Up the top, we do have the full aerodynamic roof racks on the top, leading us into the sports bars. So we've got the chrome sports bar up the front with the uh, ladder bar on top. If you didn't like that, you can actually just unbolt it, it comes off. And the same with the back one, it can be unbolted as well. We'll scooch down to the rear wheel. Unmarked rear wheel here, brilliant condition, all-terrain tyre on the back there as well. We've got a couple of minor little marks here, you're going to get that from these little tassel things, they do rub a little bit um, on it, but when they're down you don't see it. To the back of the Ranger now, obviously Ford like to have the biggest Ford, Ford badges they can. Down the bottom there we are looking at a 3 tonne tow rating on this vehicle. Nice chrome bar, no signs of any damage there at all. Coming up from there, open the tailgate. It drops down nice and easy. Does have a tub liner in it. Look, it's had some use. There's some scuffs and, and nicks and dings here, but that's what a tub liner is for. We have the uh, 12 volt socket there on the side as well, and we've opened up the tarp just so you can get a bit of a look in there, but definitely in one piece and nice and sound. Um, one thing to notice, I just noticed it myself, actually, it still has little tie downs in here throughout the tub as well. Shut that, move along. On the passenger side now, same thing, some very, very minor scratches just on the side. I can count one, two, three, very tiny scratches. I'm being pretty picky, to be honest. Coming down to the bottom now, brilliant condition, heaps of tread, all-terrain tyre on the back, unmarked alloy wheel as well. Onto the side step of this one, commonly with these bigger steps, if they're used off-road, they get bent really quickly, so there's no signs of any damage at all on those steps. And the side paintwork, I'm just going to lift my sunglasses up to see a bit better, um, I can't find any scratches on Nick's here, really, really clean, except there's one that's been touched up, it was hiding, it's had a proper touch-up pen applied just there, but overall that's it. Um, up to the last one now, last wheel, no, no gutter rash on the alloy, and yet again, heaps of tread, half a finger depth of tread on the front all-terrain tyre as well. Right, round to the front of the range now, let's talk about the engine and power plant. You are looking at a four-cylinder, three-litre injected turbo diesel. It's going to give you 115 kilowatts of power, 380 newton metres of torque. They're an easy-to-use five-speed manual transmission, four by four, of course. You're still going to get an amazing 9.5 litres to the 100. Out of a 70-litre tank, you're going to get in excess of 730 kilometres of average driving range inside the Ranger now and quite a nice place to be for if you're planning on doing some bigger drives as well. Um, obviously manual so comfy place. Um, leather wrap steering wheel, black leather, black stitching, no signs of wear at all, really clean actually. Cruise control here, same as the Toyota system, on off, up down, simple and it works. Right hand side we have our, our headlights and indicators as well as front fog lamp. On the left we've got our front wipers of course. The dashboard's nice and easy to read, taco, speedo and all of your instrument gauges there as well. Right hand side we do have a button to turn Oh, it tells you when the, it lights up when the cruise control is active. Uh, dash brightness as well, and four-door power windows and electric mirrors over this side, which you probably can't see. Um, over to this side, audio system, nice and simple. Currently listening to, what are we listening to? Gold 104.3. Um, and obviously whatever station you like. You've got your media control and CD as well if you're feeling uh, that way inclined. Down here we've got our air conditioning, which you'll see I put on at the start of the video. Um, nice and cold actually, which is nice. I'm um, on fan speed too, can't even hear it, which is comfortable. 
and you can set where you want the air to come from. Big bin down there, 12 volt socket, handbrake is here, much reminiscent to the old, um, old Falcons. You'd push it in, twist it and let it go down. Bit of a flashback that one. Um, and over to the five speed manual, really easy to shift, not hard to live with at all. I like that actually, really good. Uh, leather shifter boots in good condition, obviously goes over to our four wheel drive system. So we've got, um, uh, you got two high, four high, and then obviously your four low if you're very off road as well. Into here we've got a little cubby hole, as well as a bigger cubby hole. Into the seat trim, black cloth with white stitching, quite a good look. Um, no signs of any major stains, I can't find much on the interior at all. Car doesn't have floor mats, but the carpets present really, really well. Into the rear now, carpets yet again really good. There is a very minor nick just here, I'll point out, on the seat. Probably looks a lot worse on the camera than in real life, it's just minor. Um, into the rear now, really good condition back there as well. Obviously you have the child's at anchor point behind the seat there as well. Um, going into the roof lining, it presents really well as well. No signs of any major marks or anything like that or big scratches. Um, so on the inside, overall, really good condition. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our Ranger XLT. As you've seen, brilliant condition outside, great condition all terrains, rear ladder bars, tub liner, and an interior that's brilliant as well. Do be very quick for this car. Give us a call, 9907 0555, and thank you for watching.